Knights will start off with possession of the ball here. And it'll be interesting to see what the strategy for these two teams is coming out of the gate. Here is an offensive opportunity right away. Andy Portillo. They'll play it back to Onolaje. Oh, nice flick there from Tushizawa. And the Cougars will take over possession on that far sideline. First opportunity to see this Cougars offense 30 seconds into the contest. And that ball will roll safely back towards the keeper. Easy save. We've seen this Knights team try and get off to fast starts this season. And imagine we'll uh, see them try and do more of the same here. Cougars, I'm sure, have done their homework, done their scouting, headed into this and headed into this game. So I'm sure they know that about the Knights. And they want to limit that. They have to find a way to start fast themselves because they do not want to get into a defensive slugfest against this Knights team. They're one of the more sound defenses at this level. And then, of course, you got the tremendous uh, goalkeeper behind the net, or in between the net, excuse me, in Jack Roby, number 45, a man who is... Uh, Another man in a long line of quality keepers here at CCVC Essex. There's a through ball, finds its way through, but Onolaje makes the play. Can't miss Seth in those pink cleats. Oh, Isaiah's got to play more under control than that. Don't want to start with the chippy stuff early. He really left the uh, ref no choice but to make the call that time. Three minutes into the contest, we have our first uh, ugly foul. No call, or excuse me, no whistle, or excuse, one, one more time. No card, though. But uh, second time around, Price, uh, I think he'll be seeing a yellow. Good backspin on that, but it goes over everybody's head, and the Knights are able to chase it down, make the play. And there's a bad pass on the far sideline. It's intercepted, and they force the Knights to chase it down and kick it out of bounds and give the defense in midfield a chance to regroup. So you see a turnover in the defensive zone leads to a good offensive opportunity for the Cougars. They'll have a throw in deep in their offensive zone. Ball's bouncing around. It'll bounce out of bounds once again. And out of bounds again. Whoa, Cougars will have possession again. I thought that one was going to go to the Knights. A good throw bounces over the head of its target. Good power on that. The Knights are able to clear it. Here's a ball to Price. Great job of using the chest to bring that ball down with control. Great example of why the first touch is so important. That first touch by Price was picture perfect, and it gave him the opportunity at goal. He split the uprights, and the Atlanta Falcons, I hear they're looking for a kicker after their game last Sunday. They may give Price a call after that one. To Shizawa, little handsy there, gets the call. He had both hands on the chest. F 
Five minutes into this first half, 0-0 zero, zero is the score. Let's see if we can get the Cougars offense alive here. They've had some chances, not much. And there's Price, puts the pass behind his teammate. Easily intercepted. Some trickery at the midfield. Got to get rid of that ball, they finally do. Cougars around one defender, now a second. Right at the midfield again, and they will slow it down, switch fields. The long pass. Usually not the way to beat this Knights team. It's not working right now for the Cougars. Knights will have possession again, slowing down. Bad communication there from the team. I don't think the Knights uh, let um, their teammate know that he had a man right on his backside. He ended up paying the ultimate price for it. A hard tackle there on number five, Marvin Martinez, the freshman out of Riverdale, Maryland. Spent his high school days at Parkdale. It was a rough tackle to take, Martinez. Probably got a mouthful of those black beads. Oh! the post friendly neighborhood post came in and made the save my dad always used to say it's better to be lucky than good and that time the goalkeeper Ishmael Hernandez little luck on his side there He's gonna need a little bit more here as the Knights are knocking on opportunities door once again Working that ball around, waiting for something to open up. It does not here once again. The Cougars going for the long pass, and they're going to have to make the adjustment at some point because that long pass is not the way to beat this Knights team. You're not going to find their defense out of position a lot in this game. Their defense does a great job of moving as a unit, as a line, and they take advantage of that. You're going to see this Knights team rack up a lot of offsides calls. You're not going to see them get beat on silly plays as well. There's a silly play there as Ren Yasoi played it over to a teammate who just stopped running towards it. Oh, Wren with a nice move to get around the two defenders, but him and Isaiah Price not on the same page there. Wren probably should have known that Price liked that ball more towards the middle. Price, a right-footed dominant player. Puts the boots to it, sends it on to the other side, and Wren gets ahead on it. Ball's bouncing around. Martinez gets it and plays it over to Onalaje. And here 
There's some hot potato. Hollinsworth goes in for the slide. Can't make the tackle. Ten minutes into this first half, and it's back and forth. Isaiah Price has had the best opportunity of the game so far, but doesn't matter much when it's just a 0-0 game. There's a nice save there by Hernandez. Kill or be killed. He came off the line. Was not going to give Price another go at that one. He's already seen Price almost beat him twice. One of those split the uprights, another one off the post. Onolaji over his head, but he recovers, makes the play, and there's a whistle. Will go against the Cougars, it looks like. My view was obstructed. I couldn't see what happened, so I didn't know what the penalty was. It does go against the Cougars, though. Alaje had his feet taken out from underneath of him by number three there, Emmanuel Agvi. Good idea there for the Knights. Switch fields, nothing on that sideline there. So take advantage of it, move it over. Here's Price, and it's in front, or excuse me, behind Price, and he can't make the play. Onolaje over to Wren. Wren, I don't know if he deflected that or the Cougars player did. Regardless, it goes and rolls right over to Andy Portillo. Long pass, nothing happening. Ball's going to bounce around. Who's going to get to it? It's two teams really proving that they are evenly matched squads. Both defenses up to the task. Defense there for the Knights up to the challenge, making the play. Said it a lot during the women's game, and it's coming uh, true. I felt like this is going to be one of those games where this is two very evenly matched teams, and Price shaking his head after that one. He'd love to have that back. That was a bad touch. Cougars going to have to find a way to get around four defenders, and they do not. Not for lack of trying, though. Number 17, Hamza Aguidre, had to make a last-ditch effort to send that one away out of bounds. The Cougars will have possession, throw in, deep in their offensive zone. Watch out for the long throw here. We saw that early in this first half. May see it again here. Short throw instead, this time to the sideline, and it is out of bounds. Goal kick awarded to the Knights. As I was saying, though, I thought this was going to be one of those games where we saw two very evenly matched teams go head-to-head. -head. Their records are pretty similar. You look at the stats, they're pretty similar. And if you also watch the highlights, these two teams play a very similar brand of soccer as well. They like to win games, uh, you know, 2-1, 3-1 maybe. You're not going to see a lot of blowouts with these two teams. Malaje going to switch fields. Play it over to Aguidre. Aguidre has his pass sent right back to him. Like a golf shot that hits a tree. Oh, around the sideline. That's Hollinsworth played in towards the middle. No one is there. And the black jerseys are able to clear it for a moment. Tremendous effort, though, by Onolaji to get it back. And Wren did not know what Seth was doing with that one. So it ends up being a wasted opportunity. Tremendous effort 
by Hollinsworth to get that offense rolling. He had that ball on that far sideline. I didn't think there was any way he was going to get around that defender, let alone get a perfect cross off. Hollinsworth continuing to make believers out of all of us this season. Number four, the sophomore out of Baltimore, Maryland, spent his high school days at Archbishop Curley Catholic High School downtown in Baltimore City. There's a substitution that will come into the game for the Cougars. He's wearing black gloves. I didn't realize it was that cold outside. Certainly wasn't when I arrived today, but that was uh, three, four hours ago. Sun was still up at that point. The lights are on now. He's going to try and run around that one, get to his more dominant foot, and he put a pass over towards a teammate, and Roby was there. Made the save. Tushizawa has to get rid of that and does. Gives it over to Analaji. Rin. Analaji again. This time he loses it. Here come the Cougars. He makes Analaji touch the turf. And nothing after that. Great ankle breaker there, but couldn't do anything with it. And if this is basketball... This gym would have exploded as soon as Analaje touched the turf there. We're approaching 25 minutes to play here in this first half, which means we've almost played a full 20 minutes, and what an exciting 20 minutes it's been. It's going to get a little bit more exciting here. Price around one defender. The cross sniffed out and shut out. Nice defensive play there. By the Cougars. Wren gets the steal in his offensive zone. Over to his teammate to Shizawa. That, excuse me, that's Rios. Rolled out towards the defense safely. And here's a dangerous play in towards the middle. Seth gets a head on it, and what a perfect head that was. He gave it over towards his teammate, Wren. Wren's going to carry. Wren's going to carry a little bit more. Around one defender. A second, and he's taken down in the box. What a tremendous tackle. Last line of defense there is Wren. He would have been able to get around that tackle, probably would have got a left-footed shot off. I don't know how uh, confident Wren is in that left foot, and we may have a souvenir here. And like a Cubs game, you got to throw that one back. Never know what you're going to see here at the castle at CCVC Essex. That was an exciting play. Good job clearing that one out. Ball runner is going to have a nice little run on that one. Quick throw, trying to catch the Knights out of position. They do, but the shot that follows, not quality. Roby, easy save that one. You got to put a quality shot on number 45 if you want to beat him. Here's Wren carrying. He's got a defender on his backside, and that defender forced Wren into a bad pass. Here come the Cougars. Through ball, finds its way through. No offsides call coming. Here come the Cougars. Shot. Go! 
What a tremendous offensive display by the team in the black jerseys. The through ball was picture perfect. It found its target. The Knights wanted the offsides call. They didn't. They turned the corner. The Kroger's put on a perfect shot and score one on number 45, Jack Roby. I just got finished saying, if you want to get one past number 45, you got to put a quality shot on goal. And man, it doesn't get much more quality than that. It's one nothing Cougars. Wow. And we're going to slow things down here. I think Cougars thought that ball was going to go their way. Ref saw it the other way, and there he's going to award the set piece a yard in front, or excuse me, a yard behind the midfield line, under 25 to play now, and the Knights find themselves down one nothing. Unfamiliar territory for them the last couple weeks. There's a great ball in towards the box. Hollinsworth going to have a go at it. And his cross left something to be desired. Not a great goal scoring area. On a Laje, shot. No good. Eyes were way too big that time. Number 12, a player not used to getting good opportunities at goal scoring. And you saw it there. Is, is, uh, like I said, eyes were a little bit too big. It's interesting. I wonder if uh, maybe we're not seeing him uh, due to rest or maybe a possible injury, but the leading goal scorer on the team is Diego Adachi. Number 19, and we're not seeing him here today. We've not seen him yet so far. Adachi and Price actually tied for the lead in goals at 13 apiece. There's the third man in the Japanese connection. Tushizawa turns it over, actually. What a great effort to get it back. Tushizawa, Adachi, and Rin. Yasoi making up what I like to call the Japanese big three on this night's squad. Martinez is going to let Tushizawa take this under 25 to play. We're actually just two minutes and some change away from the 20 minute mark, which means we've almost played a full 25 minutes here in this second half. And what an exciting 25 minutes it's been. Really exactly what I thought it was going to be as well. Hard-fought contest, very good defense, some opportunities at offense on both sides. But ultimately, I thought this was going to be a very good, low-scoring defensive matchup, and that's what we've seen so far. On is going to try and use the body to shield the defender from the sideline, but that ball just didn't want to go out of bounds. Martinez comes in and makes the save, and he gets the uh, attaboys from his teammate Brennan Hollinsworth as Martinez came in and possibly made a, a goal-saving tackle as the Cougars' offensive player had a line towards the goal there. That's the opposite direction of where the goal is that time. Cougars, lucky that one's played out of bounds by the Knights as they'll have another go at it. Turn, cross, into the side of the net.
Ball's bouncing around. Little hot potato action. The Knights will have it as it rolls out of bounds. Last touch by the Cougars as we are at the 20-minute mark of the contest now. Cougars will have this set piece, and they'll put it on to the far sideline. Can they get control of it, though? They cannot, but the Knights play it out of bounds themselves. Here's a tremendous opportunity for some offense for the Cougars. Already up 1-0. Thank I thought that goal for the uh, Cougars would give new life to the Knights, and instead it's uh, kind of just re-energized the Cougars a little bit. So they've had some good offensive opportunities, and they're going to have another good one here. They could put this in towards goal scoring. Give a teammate a shot at it. It's exactly what they do. The shot off the post. Another shot coming. And it will not come. Onolaje, a tremendous defensive effort on that near sideline. And whoa, -ho -ho. we have seen both teams now be sent away by the post. We had a shot for the Knights earlier in this first half that hit that top corner post and sent was sent away, and now one on the other side as well. So both goalkeepers thanking uh, their friendly neighborhood post for keeping this game as close as it is. Whistle goes against the Cougars, will give possession to the Knights. Great opportunity for some offense. This is a kick that's... Pretty similar to the kick we just saw a couple minutes ago from the Cougars. Onolaje could put this in towards goal scoring area for one of his teammates. They go after it. He does just that, but he puts a little bit too much mustard on the dog. Man, when you wanted that ball to start coming down, it was not coming down. Instead, it was continuing to travel through the air, so you knew that was going to be a tough one for uh, the Knights to get ahead on. But, man, did that look pretty at, at first. 17 minutes left here in this one. one nothing is still the score. The Cougars, a tremendous goal. From number nine, Wagner Marquise Rodriguez. The sophomore, the, excuse me, yeah, the sophomore forward. And there's a whistle go against the Cougars. Cougars cannot afford to have uh, the Knights give, excuse me, the Cougars cannot afford to continue to give the Knights extra possessions. Got to think if the longer this game stays at one nothing. The more that works in the Knights' favor. You know the Knights are capable of coming back from a 1-0 uh, deficit. We've seen them do that multiple times this season and multiple times under Coach Joe Fiedler. And there's a bad pass from Roby. And Roby almost uh, paying the price for it. He may pay the price for it. Onolaje came in way too strong there and just bulldozed over the Cougars defender. And they're going to have an opportunity at offense here. Just over 15 minutes left. And this is a set piece deep in the offensive zone right outside the box. It's almost like a short corner kick, really. One-man wall set up. 
Pirates consisted of just Rania Soy. Oh, tremendous effort. It's really right where you want it. Couldn't do anything with it, though. Clock is going to continue to tick here. Turn of the Jets on, that's Wilfred Tanay, and it's a little bit too far out in front of Javier Avatrani. There's Wilfred again. This one to Avatrani again. And Avatrani, gotta be careful with that one. Looked like he threw the defender down to the ground. And the clock will continue to run here. 14 minutes is all that's left here in the first half. The ref, or excuse me, the coach on the other sideline wants a call. And I can't say I blame him. Avitrani really got away with that one. That, that was just a whistle. It's not even a whistle. It's an out-of-bounds call. And you see the reaction from the Knights players. They were expecting it to be a whistle as well because they were all headed over towards the midfield line expecting that to be a big kick. Instead, it's a short throw in and the Knights have a chance. Avatrani runs over to it and he cannot get to it in time. The Cougars cleared out of the danger zone at least for now. Shot wide of the net. Man, that was a good effort from over there. I think we're seeing the strategy for the Cougars come into play here. Looked like they wanted to get out into an early lead and they wanted to milk the clock because ever since they got that one goal lead, they have been slowing things down here. There's no kind of sense of urgency with the team. They look like they were just ready to bunker down, play good defense, stay within themselves, and not force the issue. You know, if this is going to end up, up being a one nothing game, it'll end up being a one nothing game. But the Cougars just want to do everything they can to not blow it. Do everything they can to not uh, make a mistake and give one to the Knights and watch this game turn into a brand new ball game. Knights are one goal away from tying this game up. They're one big play away from making this a brand new game altogether as the momentum is all on the side of the Cougars right now. If the Knights could get a big play here, get some of that momentum on their side, it may help their chances a little bit. Oh, nice trickery from number 24. Ronan Robertson doesn't amount to much, but that would be a nice story that he was able to pull that off in a game. Pulled it back only to push it forward with the other foot. A little FIFA move right there. Hot potato. Will continue. Now finally won by the Knights, but they give it right back. The through ball finds its way through, and it rolls safely into the hands of Hernandez. Sam Diaz was the other person who was there. He was the Knights player that was there. Diaz would have had to been uh, Flash Gordon to catch up to that one. Bicycle kick sent away. 
And finally cleared out. Just over 10 minutes left in this first half, and the Knights are struggling right now. Not much going their way. The defense is continuing to play solid, but outside of that, the offense is not giving them much. The offense isn't giving them much, and the Cougars aren't making mistakes here as well. There's a shot saved by Roby, though. That was a good defensive effort there. Made that save a lot easier for Roby. If that defender wasn't there, that probably would have been a much tougher save to make because there would have been a little bit more power behind it. Here's Wilfred, and they want a handball. Not going to get one, though. Even if Wilford did make the play there with the hand, that was accidental. Wilford today will take the throw in. Turn, shot, no good. Sent away by the defender. And they'll kick it out of bounds, another throw in for the Knights. Turning, shooting, what a tackle! What a slide tackle there from Jordy Fautso. And a good tackle on the other side as well. Oh, good tackles all around. And oh no, got some words being exchanged back and forth. Somebody's not happy about something. No yellow cards issued, though. Hot potato, just over seven minutes left. What? Wow. A yellow card issued first to the game will go to the Knights. I don't think the referee liked the way Javier Avatrani played that ball back to uh, the other team. I know Javier's trying to plead his case and say, I don't know what I did, but, I mean, you kick the ball back to the other team like that. I mean, what do you expect to happen? You know, you got to play with a certain level of class. You got to play with a certain level of sportsmanship. You don't like the way the call goes? Just move forward. Was another yellow card issued to Avatrani? Because he's putting on his backpack and walking off, off the field altogether. Wow, if he's out of this game, that means the Knights have to play with a man down for the rest of this game. You got to play with more control than that. It... 
Well, the Knights' comeback hopes just got a uh, little bit smaller. Going to be playing with a man down for the rest of this contest. So the next six minutes and 50 seconds of this first half and the next 45 after that is going to be played 11 on 10. What a game. Wow. I'd love to be a fly on the wall at uh, halftime for this night speech. Coach Fiedler is going to have some choice words for his team, I'm sure. Ball played on the far sideline. Nothing happening. Ball's bouncing around. Knights finally have it. <clears throat> and a whistle will give possession to the Cougars. Ball played onto the near sideline. Here's Wilfred stepping over, trying to make something happen. Turns, shoots, and it's intercepted by a defender for the Cougars. As Seth Onolaje gets it back. And, oh, man, just out in front of the outstretched legs of the Knights players. Ball's bouncing around. Who's going to get to it? Tushizawa sends it away. Sideline. And that is going to be a goal kick. Wow. Look like from this angle that that one was last touched by a Knights player. Knights players, coaches, and fans happy that it's going the other way, though, I'm sure. Under five minutes to play. Ref stopped the clock there. Wanted to have some words with Martinez. Three minutes and some change left in this one. And Roby comes off the line and makes the save with not a lot of time to spare. Oh, wow. Great move by turn the corner. Cannot. Last line of defense stop there. Great tackle by the Knights. Under three minutes to play. Ball's on the far sideline. Knights will take over possession. Remember, fans, at home, this is an 11-on-10 game right now. The Knights are playing down a man. After the double yellow card issued to uh, Javier Avatrani. Martinez is going to get a whistle for that. Cannot extend the arms like that. And he's got to be, got to play under control here. Not only does he throw the man to the ground, but then to have words with the ref afterwards, you've already seen this man throw one guy out of the game. Let's not test him here.
Ball's on the far sideline, bouncing around. Cougars have it under two minutes to play in the first half now. What a just picture-perfect game. Or, excuse me, what a picture-perfect first half for the Cougars. Their defense stepped up, limited the opportunities that the Knights had. Their offense stepped up and made enough plays to get them out in the lead. This uh, Cougars team, they knew they were in for a dogfight when they came into the castle, but they came out and they punched the Knights right in the mouth. And they're not backing down. Just over a minute left to play in the first half. We're going to have a fresh 45 after a short halftime break. So stick around. Wow, the Knights are going to have it. a great opportunity for some offense. 60 seconds left here in this first half. They've got a free kick about 11, 12 yards outside of the box on the far sideline. Not a quality kick. As that one came in like a laser. On Alaje will have a throw in. Quality throw in towards goal scoring area. Nothing happening just yet. Collins were nothing there. 30 seconds away from halftime, and the Knights will still have possession. Got to get a good throw in with possession here. Another one, 15 seconds. Shot is saved, and that'll probably be the final play of the first half. As Hernandez makes the save, and he's going to put the boots to it, and this clock's going to hit triple zeros. one nothing at the end of the first 45. We'll be back after this short break. Not going to want to miss this second half. What a game this has been.
righty then, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here and ready to play the final 45, or what could be the final 45, of what has been a very, very exciting contest. Now, the score doesn't look exactly like I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be uh, an even game going into the second half, but uh, the play on the field has been very similar to what I thought it was going to be. These are two very evenly matched two teams and two teams that like to play very uh, similar brands of soccer. Defensive-minded uh, teams like to get after it. You're seeing that right now in this contest. It'll be interesting to see what kind of halftime adjustments these two teams make. Cougars' halftime adjustments working pretty well right now. As that one was awfully close to being a good goal-scoring opportunity. Good goal-scoring opportunity that almost kind of appeared out of thin air, too. You blinked, and uh, the Cougars were in a good uh, offensive zone. Roby got half with a tremendous shot on goal from number nine, Marquise Rodriguez. The Knights had some offensive opportunities early on in that first half. They had one go off the post. And then they had Isaiah Price put one over the net. Really, outside of that, not a lot of uh, offensive chances for the team in the white jersey. Now, their defense came to play, made some big stops. And wow, I'm a, a minute and 30 seconds into this second half, and I uh, forgot to bring up the fact that we're playing 11 on 10 soccer right now because the Knights are playing down a man due to the red card that was issued to Avatrani. Long throw. Showing off the power game there. Isaiah Price was the one who got ahead on it on that far sideline. And there's some rough stuff on the sideline. Get a yellow card, but I didn't think that was malicious. They just stuck the leg out, going for the tackle just a little bit late and got too much leg, and I think it was just a hard fall. Yellow card regardless, players sent off. I'm sure he'll be checking back into the game sooner than later. And this is a great opportunity for some offense for the Knights far sideline. And towards the box, lots of black jerseys over there. I think one of them got ahead on that ball and it bounced in front of Hernandez and he was able to make the save cleanly. Really good ball and they, oh, Isaiah Price getting tangled up with uh, Number 17 there, and the ref's telling number 17 to calm down. I think he <laughs> maybe came in a little late there. Price looked like he was the one who initiated that. And there, no question there. Gidre, a little slow to get back onto the field. Looks like he wants to stay in the game, though. He's going to try and walk it off. Temperatures dropped out there. The moon's out. The lights are on, shining bright here at the castle. Another good opportunity for some offense, and man, that was not a quality strike there. Number eight is standing there with his hands up, Sam Majaya. I don't know if he's upset with himself or a teammate, but it's not where he wanted to put that one, I don't think. Or if it was, I don't know what he was thinking. Come the Cougars, far sideline. They don't have numbers, but they do have possession of the ball. They don't have that either. Stonewalled, nice move. And that's a quality corner, or excuse me, a quality.
Ball is up in the air. Good backspin on that. Easy to locate. Easy to do something with, too. Here come the Knights. Turn in the corner. And, oh, last line of defense tackle there. Tremendous move. Not just that. He cleared it out of bounds off the out of bounds line instead of the end line. So he gives a free, or excuse me, a throw in instead of a corner kick. Great placement on the tackle. Oh, just a little bit too far out in front. That was a great eye there with the pass. Just a bit too far out in front. That would have been a great opportunity for some offense. We haven't seen a lot of transition opportunities here in this game against the Cougars. As you see, the Knights, this is the third time they are setting up with a set piece in their offensive zone in this second half. Let's see if the third time is the charm here, and they can capitalize. Martinez setting up to take it. Freshman out of Riverdale. Let's see what the strategy here is. I don't think Martinez is going to go from goal here. Made a liar out of me. It's a ground ball with eyes, as they would say in baseball. Tough save to make. He got in front of it, got the body in front of it, and made the save. Hernandez has not been tested much here this afternoon, but he stepped up to the challenge when he has been tested. And there hasn't been a lot of moments where you've seen him, really not many moments at all, where you've seen him out of position. So obviously got a good eye for the game. Fourth set piece in the offensive zone of this second half. It was a chippy first half, and it's only continuing here in the second. Great ball. Better head ball, though, by the defender of the Cougars. And this Cougars defense came to play. You know that they're a quality defense because we are not used to seeing teams come into the castle and get into a slugfest with the Knights and have the lead deep, this deep into the game. Here's a corner kick, our first to the game for either team. Going to be on that far sideline, under 40 minutes to play. Great opportunity for some offense. And that is not a quality strike on both sides. It wasn't quality on the corner on the far sideline, and Isaiah Price's strike wasn't quality either. Like a do-over all the way around if you're a Knights player, coach, or fan. Oh, here's some offense for the Cougars down the sideline. Here they go. Can they turn? Instead, they're going to look for the cross. It's solid. Oh, and it's just sniffed out at the last second by Onolaje. Sniffed out and shut out by number 12, and here comes Martinez. Transition offense for the Knights. Price, and he's got it. Shot, and oh, what a save! What a tremendous defensive effort by the Cougars. I think that was number eight. Tommy, what a play by that young man. They're not out of the danger zone just yet. Now they look to be as they're turning and they're going on a transition opportunity of their own down the sideline and sent away. The Knights' defense in midfield will have a chance to regroup. Whoa, ho, 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 man. What an exciting first 10 minutes of the second half. Offensive opportunities for the Knights, really the most opportunities they've had here in this game. Martinez still only seen one shot on goal here today because that shot from Price never even got to the goal because of the tremendous tackle from the Cougars defender. 
Here comes Wilfred Tanay, carrying. He's got space. He doesn't have possession of the ball, though, anymore. Another last line of defense tackle there from the Cougars' defense. Played over. After the throw in, Wilfred gets around one defender. A second, and splits the uprights again. That'll count for three on Sunday, but nothing here this afternoon. What a lovely evening for soccer. Now, I say that from the comfort of inside. May not feel like that if you're outside, but and the lights are on, the moon's shining. It's a beautiful night. And we are in the middle of a beautiful game. Great defense played here by the Cougars, working the ball around. Not trying to force the issue. Wait for something to open up. It's a big reason why they find themselves up one nothing here in this game. They're not trying to force the issue. They're just giving, or they're, excuse me, they're just taking what the Knights' defense is giving them, and they're making the most out of it. Martinez bailed out there by the foul uh, on the foul committed by the Cougars. The Cougars had uh, three jerseys surrounding that ball. They probably would have came away with it if they wouldn't have called, uh, committed that foul. Ran Soy late to get to that one, and the Cougars will take possession. Under 35 minutes to play now in this second half. And the Knights... Trying to make it a clean sweep of the Cougars here this afternoon as these two programs, women's teams, went head-to-head -head in game one. It was a 3-1 victory for the Knights here in this one. The Cougars trying to play spoiler here in game two of the doubleheader. And they're doing just that as they're up 1-0 right now. Here's Wren getting the pass from his defender. Spins around one defender. Now he's got to get rid of it. And a smart play to play it back towards the defense. Slow things down a little bit. Oh, man, Wilford today turning on the Jets. Can he get there? He cannot, but that's going to be a corner kick for the Knights. Their last corner was not very good. Let's see if the second one is better quality. Remember, their last corner was nowhere near a goal-scoring area. 33 minutes and some change left here in this one. You don't know how many more offensive opportunities you're going to get. you got to make the most of them when you get them. He moved the flag, didn't he? You can't move the flag. Dale Earnhardt Sr. once said, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Second corner. Just like the first, not very good. Bailed out by Onolaji, giving him another break, and he puts it right into the defense of the Cougars, and here the Cougars come with a transition opportunity. Luckily for the Knights, Roby sniffed that out and shut it out, but he gave it right back to him. Man, Roby, not his best day behind the cage. And that's going to be a call. It'll go against the Knights. Ball on the far sideline, bouncing around 50-50. And Price is going to win it, or is he? That's Martinez, excuse me, not Price. Here's Price, played up to Tanay. Excuse me, it's on the far sideline instead. Man, I don't know what Price was thinking. Onolaje was two steps behind Wilfred. Wilfred had the inside track towards the middle. Interesting pass there. Doesn't find its target. Instead, it's a turnover once again in the Knights. Stuck still playing catch up.
Wilfred, ball on his foot, working overtime to get possession for his team and does around two defenders and cannot beat the third. Tripped up, feet get tangled. Coach Fiedler wants that call, and he'll get it. Thirty minutes and some change left here in this one. This one coming about twenty-five yards into their offensive zone. Set pieces have not been quality so far here for the Knights. Let's see if they can turn that around here. They're going to have one guy step over it. The second guy's coming. And the step back. I haven't seen that one so far this season. Was once again not a quality set piece. And there's a shoulder tackle on the sidelines. And they get a corner kick out of that one, and that was lucky. That was another set piece that did not get up into the air. Putting a lot of worm burners out there, and it's not working. Let's see if they can get this one in the air. This is their best one yet. Oh, towards the goal. And I think he had a hands-on back. Looks like he did. Their best effort so far, though, by uh, by a long shot. Bouncing around, Martinez gets it. And he's going to slow things down, play it back towards the defense. And a whistle will blow, and he's off sides. Isaiah Price not happy with the call. He's got to be careful. He could have gotten a yellow card there. He kicked the ball away from the spot of the foul. Easily could have been delay a game. It's going to play under more control than that. The Knights here in this second half, given the fact that they're playing down a man. And also going up against a really quality opponent. Oh, speaking of quality. Swing and a miss, just missed a great goal scoring opportunity. I can't believe that cross. From that angle, I didn't think that had any kind of chance to get towards a goal scoring spot. Somehow, it fell out of the sky and number 14 had a go at it. And Chambers is gonna come out of the game now. Twenty six minutes and some change is all that is left in this one. That is not a lot of time. The Knights need to capitalize on an opportunity and they need to do it quickly. You know, before that red card, I thought that the longer this game went one nothing, the more that helped the Knights. The Knights are 
I know they've got more than enough firepower, but now playing down a man, the longer this game goes one nothing, I think they uh, helped the Cougars. The Knights are going to get tired at some point here in this game. Somebody lost the shoe. Set piece, 15 yards into their offensive zone. Great opportunity for some offense. Tremendous ball. Roby's going to catch it. Oh, man, that's a difficult save to make. I don't know if that came off the head the way he wanted it to. It's not the worst thing in the world that could happen, though. Oh, wow, he just beat Isaiah Price to the ball. Great defensive effort there. And this Cougars defense came to play here this afternoon. And, oh, my, that's a retaliation. Great display of sportsmanship, though. He knew he committed the foul. He came over, shook the hand. He's going to get the yellow card, but... This makes me laugh when they do that. The referee turns around. As soon as he turns around, they move that ball up two yards. Quality strike. I don't know why there was not a lot of white jerseys around that area. That was a great goal-scoring spot. Here's a transition opportunity for the Cougars. Onolaje saw what was happening, and he sniffed it out and shut it out. Just over 24 minutes left in this contest. Sam Majaya is down on the ground, probably a cramp. We'll take a timeout with these two teams. 24 minutes and 13 seconds left in this one. The score is 1-0 in favor of the Cougars.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here ready to play the final 24 minutes and change of this second half. Some trickery trying to find a shooting lane. He's going to have a shooting lane shot. Oh, man. So close. Roby's. Bet his heart skipped a beat there. That was a gifted shot there. Ball landed right on his foot and a great scoring opportunity, a great goal scoring area, excuse me. Around, a second shot coming, that one deflects. And man, <laughs> oh man, when they fall on the side of the net like that, they make your heart skip a beat because they look like goals. Could still be getting a goal, though. Cougars knocking on Opportunity's door right here. I don't ever want to speak too soon, but the way this game's been going, I think a second goal here for the Cougars could be a dagger. Oh, a tremendous head ball. Opportunity there on a good free kick. It was kind of spinning away from the line. It's still a very quality corner there. Wouldn't have been shocking at all if that would have led to the second goal of the game for the Cougars. Knights will stay in it for a little bit longer, though. 22 minutes and some change. All that separates these two teams from the end of this contest. Ren. A rare mistake from him. Usually he's able to get around at least one or two defenders that time. Defense for the Cougars stepped up and made the play. It's not surprising at all. This Cougars defense has stepped up and made plays all game long. Here's the Cougars offense. Chance. Round one defender. Oh, here comes. Shot. And it's saved by Roby. Oh, my. Whew, man. Almost the second goal of the game for the Cougars that time, and Roby gets the thank yous from his teammates. They're not out of the danger zone just yet. Cougar is not a quality strike, though. They'll get a rebound. No, they won't. Onolaje with a great play. And a great play by the Cougars on the other side. That tackle may have saved a goal-scoring opportunity. And that last line of defense for the Cougars has made play after play after play today. Oh, he turns the corner, slows down. Trying to get around a defender, does, shot! And that will go off of the head of a Cougars player, I believe, and that'll be a Knights corner kick. But more concerning right now is that there is a Knights player down on the ground, and I believe that's number 10, Wilfred Tenay. He has been a spark plug in this game, really a spark plug all season long for this Knights team coming off the bench. He is still down, so we're going to take a timeout with these two teams. 20 minutes and 41 seconds left in this contest. one nothing is the score. Cougars are up.
Here comes the corner kick as Wilford is off the field now. Quality corner, Price, one touch. Oh, it's wide of the net. Whew, Nelly. Another corner kick coming. Another quality corner, set away by the defense this time. Oh, my. Oh, touch the canvas, young man. Praise the Lord. Whoa, my, what a defensive game this has been. What a game. Man, this game doesn't get your juices flowing. You must not just like soccer. It's a long pass, intercepted by Tushizawa. He can't catch it cleanly, though. And he is bailed out by the rest of his defense. This is a quick kick. They're going to switch fields. The Knights, the sense of urgency for them is picked up here in the late stages of this second half. They know what that clock says right now. Under 20 minutes to play. They got two chances right now, slim and none. And Slim's getting up and getting ready to walk out the door. We are going to have a set piece. Almost 30 yards into the offensive zone. Great goal scoring opportunity. And he put way too much mustard on that dog. Now just over 18 to play. And it's a goal kick for Hernandez and the Cougars. Hands in the air, ball is going to follow. Quality strike there. Sadly for him and his teammates, it goes right onto the head of Martinez. There's the turn, the cross, sniffed out and shot out again by the defense, but this time they clear it over the end line, so they just gave a corner kick to the Knights, but, you know, at least it gives your defense an opportunity to regroup. You'd rather uh, that than just give up a goal. Here's the corner. Quality towards goal scoring. Wren trying to go for a bicycle kick. He's got four guys around him. <laughs> an A for creativity and effort, but everything else, not so much. I'm always just impressed that guys have the where, whereabouts to even go for something like that in a moment like this. I don't think I would ever even cross my mind if I was out there. The whistle again. This one goes against the Cougars. And I'll tell you, I think uh, it's safe to say that that momentum is switching back onto the side of the Knights. Uh, they need to keep it on their side. Don't allow the Cougars to make some plays and get it back on their side. The Cougars will play it back towards the defense. Aguidre intercepts it. Oh, it's a little bit too far out in front of its target. Sam on Dunha. And Dunha is a tough target to miss. He stands at six foot. He's got those long legs. Couldn't get a leg on that one, though. Guidre trying to get around three defenders. Not a good idea. 
Oh, no. Here come the Cougars. Great opportunity. They don't have numbers. They don't have space either, but they do have possession of the ball as they play that one off of a Knights defender. And this could be a corner kick. Just over 15 minutes to play. Great opportunity for some offense here for the Cougars. They could put the dagger in right here. Corner kick, near sideline, hands in the air. Ball will follow. Little bit too much mustard. The accuracy wasn't good on that one either. No one's scoring from back there. Here's a transition opportunity for the Knights. Wren, can he chase it down? He's fast. I don't think he's that fast. Or is he? And he put the head down, found another gear in those legs. Under 15 to play now. The Cougars will have possession again. Oh, they give it right to Analaje and the Knights. Anduna can't get it. Oh, neither can his teammate. Aguidre will. And he gives it right up. It's two times in a row. Aguidre's turned it over. Oh, here come the Cougars. One on one. Shot. And a goal. Jack Roby can't get it. And what a killer for the Cougars. They come in here to the castle at CCBC Essex and they punch the Knights in the mouth. And they are 14 minutes and 13 seconds away from getting a huge win. It's not very often that you come to a game here at the castle and the opposing team's student section is louder than the Knights, but that's been the case here today. Now granted, the Cougars have had a lot more to cheer for than the Knights. What a goal. That was a tough save to make for Roby. I know he was very frustrated afterwards. You saw him kick the goal post, beating his hands onto the ground in frustration. Look, even the professionals don't make that save. That is a tough play to make on a one-on-one. -on -one. Marquise Rodriguez, what a tremendous afternoon for him. Right place, right time a couple times today. And he's continuing his tremendous play. And Martinez. Hamza Guidre is sent off the field. They'll switch fields there. No whistle that time. Knights will get it. Oh, great tackle on that far sideline. That is quality. And here come the Knights. I think the dagger has been put in, but they're not just they're not dead just yet. You can't. They're on life support, but they're not dead just yet. Can't count them out. Cougars working the ball around. Oh, offense. Step over. Another step over. Switch. Shot. And it's deflected. And this effort there from the Cougars. And that's what kind of game it's been. Roby will put the boots to it. 12 minutes and 30 seconds left here in this one. Once again, the Knights, they're not dead, but they're on life support. 
They need something to break their way right now. Knights will take over with a throw in, far sideline. The Knights player loses his balance. That's on Dunha. And the Knights will have another throw in, this time a little bit further up that sideline. Once again, this time a little bit further up the sideline. He puts the boots to it onto the other side. And nothing going there. And that did not look pretty. You could see those two players knock knees almost immediately. Marquise Rodriguez went down. The throw in on that far sideline. Knights get possession. Can they clear it? They can, and they do it with control on Dunha. Around one defender. No, he cannot get around that defender. What a tremendous tackle. Once again, man, this Cougars defense came to play. And that's going to be a handball. Quick pass, Wilfred. Oh, no. He splits the uprights. Not what he wanted to do there. Under 10 to play. So you're saying there's a chance. Nine minutes left. There is uh, some time left. Not a lot, but the Knights need everything to go their way the last nine minutes.
score by number five, Marty Martinez. Assisted by number 10, Will Tenez. Down below, eight minutes, 58 seconds. Will Tanay with the assist, Martinez with the goal. And so you're saying there's a chance. Knights are going to have to force the issue from here on out. And I have to get some turnovers. And they're going to have to capitalize on every opportunity that comes in front of them. You don't know how many more opportunities you're going to get in this game, so you got to make the most of them when you get them. Oh, bad first touch there on the sideline. Gives away a possession. And that's one less possession for the Knights. That's a tough tackle. Surprised there's no call there. And a ref will finally stop the clock there. And the ref is really just telling Hernandez to hurry up. Or, excuse me, Marquise Rodriguez. He gave him the uh, come on boy sign a couple times. He knows what's going on. This ref's been around a lot longer than these players have. He's seen all the tricks. Especially since Marquise Hernandez walked off the field and didn't even walk over to the bench. He walked right back over to the scorer's table. <laughs> Possession for the Knights. Quick throw down the sideline. Nothing happening that time. And they'll let that one roll out of bounds. Seven minutes and some change left. The Knights, they're running out of time here. And there is a whistle. We'll go against the Knights. Knights will take over. It just wasted 10 seconds not knowing where the ball was. I don't know what's going on here with the Knights right now. Very strange. Martinez with possession. Working the ball around. Sideline. Anduna. Pass. Shot. Goal! Oh, my! The Knights tie it up with six minutes and change left. Are you serious? Mama, there goes that man. Rinya Soy ties the game up for the Knights. Oh, my goodness. And he gets the piggyback from his teammates afterwards. Woohoo! What a game. And remember, fans, the Knights have been playing down a man for the last 45 minutes and change. We're playing 11 on 10 soccer right now. Wow, what a game. What a game. What a game. Oh, man. 
Martinez plays it over. Price gets around. Gets, tries to get around the second defender, and that's going to be a whistle and a card. Some Cougars fans not happy with that call. <laughs> Six minutes and some change left here in this one. 2-2 two, two is the score. Martinez has a chance to put his team up if he can put this in a goal-scoring area. Martinez, ball's in the air. It's a good strike. Better head ball, though, by the Cougars. That's a trip on the far sideline. Knights are going to have it. Another set piece for the Knights in a good goal-scoring area. The Cougars can't get out of their way here in this second half. This is the biggest moment of the game so far right here. Opportunity at goal scoring. Just over five set piece far side, or right on the side of the box, excuse me. Not a quality strike there. You want to put a little bit more air on that one because even if Tushizawa would have got a head on that, I don't think it would have done anything than t other than take his head off. And that was on a laser. You know, as great as it is that the Knights have tied this game up, they need to keep that foot on the gas pedal. They cannot let up and let the uh, Cougars, excuse me, find them out of position and take advantage of that with a good transition opportunity. I mean, the same goes to the Cougars as well. They, they need to, both these teams need to buckle up and play good defense for the last four minutes and 30 seconds. Obviously, you want a goal, but play for overtime. Martinez loses it. Turnover in the defensive zone. Here come the Cougars. Not for long, though. The Knights get it right back. Man, that was dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, here come the Knights down the sideline. He's got it in the box. Shot saved by Hernandez. And, oh, he was off sides, was he? It looks like he was the way they're putting that ball over there. Yep, he was off sides. Under four minutes to play now. 2-2 two, two is the score. For how much longer, though? We're going to find out. Oh, tremendous quality head ball. Ball played over. Last line of defense. Sniffs it out and shuts it out and sends it over onto the other side of the ball. Over the field, excuse me. Sent away, and one fan is going to catch a souvenir here for today. All off the head, around. Rios is the last one to touch it. And a good clear attempt by the Knights. This ball's bouncing around like a hot potato. Send Onolaji gets it, and he's the first one to it. What a tremendous hustle play. And Price didn't see that ball coming, and it went off of his foot wrong. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by the Cougars. Rios, the flick over on Dunha. On Dunha, last line of defense makes the tackle. Great tackle there by the Cougars. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. That is all that separates these two teams from the final whistle. Shot, no good. Sent away by the defense. Finally cleared out by the Cougars. Here they go on transition. They've got space. They don't have numbers, and they don't have possession of the ball either now. Wilfred Tenay carries, cross, on Dunha's there. Oh, here we go. The Knights, shot. Oh, another shot. Oh, what a save. What a save by Hernandez. 
You're not going to see a better save than that all season long. A game-saving save by Ishmael Hernandez. Whew! Santana Moss, the former University of Miami Hurricanes wide receiver, once said, big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games, and Hernandez just proved that he's a big-time player. What a save. And there's a timeout taken on the field. Looks like an injury timeout. Two minutes and three seconds left. We're going to take a timeout with these two teams. We'll be back after this. My oh my. And we're back here, ready to play the final two minutes and three seconds of regulation. 2-2 two -two is the score, and the Knights are knocking on Opportunity's door. Out of bounds, that's the play, and the Knights will take another throw in. Throw, quality, good. Aguidre over to Wilfred. Wilfred around one defender. Here comes the cross, and no cross. Instead, it's going to be a goal kick. Oh, wow, I thought Wilfred maybe was pushed down a little bit. I guess he just slipped. A minute and 25 seconds left in this one. 2-2 two -two is the score. Hernandez and the Cougars will take over possession. And they have a chance to get back into the driver's seat here. The momentum is all nights right now. Here, I get that ball. Cougars still with possession. That's one defender. He's got to get around. He will not. Instead, he has his corner kick with 40 seconds left. Here comes the corner. Martinez is going to take it. Hands in the air. Ball will follow. Quality corner. Sent away by the team in the black jerseys. The Knights will have another corner, this time from the opposite side. This may be the final play. 15 seconds left. Ball's in the air. Not a good corner. Shot. Score! The Knights score with 10 seconds left. Oh, my God. What a game. What a game. Whoa. <laughs> what a game what a season what a team man if you aren't here at the castle to witness this live i feel bad for you what a game what a day what a time to be alive 10 seconds and the knights are up three two And Roby will catch that one, and that is all she wrote. A buzzer beater here at CCBC Essex as the Knights take down the Cougars 3-2. to two. What a tremendous game, one that you love to win and you hate to lose. I'm Aaron Thomas on the call once again here. We'll see you next Thursday, or we'll see you, excuse me, later this week on Thursday. More soccer action here at CCBC Essex. Man, but until then, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.